Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how I make, um, it's an Italian dish that I'm making. I have some few ingredients that I'm using. Uh, chicken, I have some chicken thighs, uh, one chicken breast that I've diced and I have here uh, rosemary chopped, garlic, three cloves of garlic, uh, thyme, I'll show you in a minute how thyme looks like. Um, That's time that I've just taken off some of the the leaves, and I have potatoes, pop, uh, chopped potatoes. I have a habanero, a Scotch bonnet, other ways. So the potatoes are just peeled and in the water. I have uh, chopped tomatoes in a can. If you prefer a fresh one, you can use fresh ones. I have salt. I have here a red wine vinegar that I'll be using and some olives, peated black olives that I'll be using later and you'll definitely need some olive oil. So here on this pan, I'm just going to add in the potatoes. Uh, I'm not cooking the potatoes, I'm just parboiling them so that just the skin, uh, they just become a little bit uh, soft so that when I mix them into the sauce, they they'll be soft and they can absorb all the the flavors so on this pan i'm just gonna add some few drops of olive oil what i'm going to do i'm gonna i'm going to brown my chicken i'm using my skillet today so so i'm going to add in the the big chunks first I opted to leave the skin on because I'm, I'm going to bake this in the oven uh, maybe for an hour or so so keep that aside now with the wine vinegar and all that I, I definitely use a, a jar for mixing all my ingredients so what I'm going to do here Add the thyme in the jar, uh, the garlic, rosemary, so I'm going to set that aside and um, you need a tablespoon of the red wine vinegar. Or more, I'll probably use two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of that and some olive oil. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Then I'm going to add some salt, a pinch or so. I'm just going to add some pepper as well, just enough to, I think I'm going to add another tablespoon of vinegar, set that aside, I'm just going to chop my, um, my chili, I'm only going to use like a, a quarter of it. Because this one is very spicy. So, I'm going to put that in my mixer here. Uh, chili is an optional if you don't uh, have spices in your dish. So, Mix that in to a nice mixture, and then I'm going to set this aside. You can definitely uh, 
do this dish uh, you can marinate your chicken in the in the in the mixer that I've just done there and this one gives it a very very nice flavor to the chicken because the chicken has been marinating for a while so so that's looking fine so I've drained off the potatoes they've been cooking for the past uh, five minutes as I said I was just boiling them uh, just to make them a little bit soft uh, my chicken is well brown as I want it to to be so what I'm going to do in, in that pan I'm going to add in the chopped tomatoes that I have and mix that so let that simmer just five minutes five minutes start simmering I'm gonna pour this in as well the the mixture and everything in so I'm gonna let that cook just a few more uh, maybe five minutes as I say it simmer for five minutes and then I'm going to add in the potatoes so so my chicken is boiling or steaming well so at this stage I'm going to add the potatoes the chicken to cook in, uh, to be well coated and covered I decided to add a chicken stock that I'm dissolving there in my jar so let that boil a few more minutes So that's the end result of my dinner has been cooking for the past 45 minutes uh, the chicken is fully cooked the potatoes are cooked I just added uh, black olives just uh, five minutes before I took it out of the oven so hope you enjoy guys thank you bye I'm using it with some garlic bread so if you have any questions comments and subscribe below thank you